Now this is the circuit of full adder which consists of two half adders. This is half adder number one, this is half adder number two and uh, this half adder, the output of this half adder is uh, cascaded with the next half adder here. Now naturally every half adder has two inputs A and B. So this half adder also has two inputs. So out of that one input is connected over here at the output of some output of first half adder and the second input is taken here as input C. So naturally the full adder will have three inputs A, B and C. Now these are the two outputs of half adder 1, carry 1 and sum 1 and these are the two outputs of half adder 2, carry 2 and sum 2. Now in all there will be three outputs actually carry 1, carry 2 and sum. So in order to create a single carry output we have ORed these two carry 1 and carry outputs together to get a single carry output here. So now this complete full adder has only two outputs one is carry and the other is sum. Now if you logically analyze the circuit consider that all the three inputs are 0, 0, 0. Then the output sum will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 with carry 0. Now the other analysis can also be done very easily but for that I will suggest the student better to go for uh, finding out the output equations of each and every output in this circuit. For example, carry 1, we shall see the output equation of carry 1. Carry 1 is the output of AND gate 1 and it has got two inputs A, B. So its output will be A dot B. SUM 1 is the output of XOR gate 1 and it has got two inputs A and B connected together here. So the output here for SUM 1 will be SUM 1 will be equal to A direct SUM B. Now here carry 2 output carry 2 output is the output of AND gate 2 it has got two inputs one is connected to sum 1 with the equation A direct sum B and the other input is connected over here as C so carry 2 will have the output as C dot in bracket A direct sum B now sum 2 is the output of XOR gate 2 and it has got two inputs one is connected to sum 1 having input uh, having equation A direct sum B and the other input is C so here the output will be A direct sum B direct sum C now here final carry output is generated using the OR gate now the output of this carry 1 is A dot B and here the output is C dot a direct sum b so here the output will be simply the addition of two it is a dot b plus c dot a direct sum b so these are the outputs here which can be seen very easily and if you analyze this circuit according to the given equations then it will be simple to understand the entire working of the circuit for that you can refer my notes digital electronics page number 30 out of total pages 93 pages thank you